Cineguac. Welcome to Cineguac, where I do tutorials and shit. Today I'll be showing you how to create three completely different and incredibly simple video transitions, which can be done in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019. They can be used in your vlogs and films, so let's get started. Transition number one. This is incredibly simple. I use this often to begin my videos to sort of bring us from a black screen to the first shot. First thing you want to do is go to effects window, go to video transitions, go down to wipe, find barn doors, and drag that effect onto the beginning of your first clip. And that's pretty much it. As you can see now when we play that through, it opens up barn doors starting in the center, outward to the right and left of the frame. If you want to adjust it and change the direction that it opens, you just click on it once and that'll open up the effects window. And you can click on this little button right here, north to south. And when you click on that, it actually changes the direction that the barn door is open. So now, as you can see, it opens from the center to the top and bottom. And that's it. Transition number two. I actually created a whole separate video on just this, but I will give you the cliff notes. It's a simple light leak transition. What you want to do to begin is first just go to my website, cineguac.com, head over to the free stuff tab, and scroll down to the 4.6K light leaks and flares free download. Click that and start downloading the light leak pack right here for free. Once you've imported the light leak pack into your project, you can just sort of scroll through them and find one that works for you. When looking for a light leak transition, I like to find one where at one point during the clip, the flare takes up the entire frame, kind of hides the transition a little bit better. So let's just drag this one right above the two clips that we want to transition between and make sure that it takes up the entire frame right where the cut happens between our two clips. So let's just drag that over there just like that. And then select the light leak layer, go to effect controls, blend mode, and select lighten. You can also do screen or color dodge. It's really up to you. Let's choose lighten in this case. And there you have it, a nice simple light leak effect. Transition number three. This is one of my favorite transitions. It's kind of like a dip to white, except a little bit fancier. What you want to do after you have your two clips on your timeline, go to effects and type in levels. This is in the video effects adjust subfolder and drag the levels effect to your first clip. Then what you want to do is scroll over to where you want your transition to begin. So it'll, it should be, you know, a couple frames away from the end of the first clip and set a keyframe right here where it says RGB white input level, set a keyframe right there, and then move this over all the way to the end of the clip and set this all the way down to zero. As you can see now, it basically increases the brightness and contrast almost completely to white. And then what you want to do is drag the levels effect over to your second clip and do the exact opposite. Start at the beginning of your second clip, right here where it says RGB white input level, set a keyframe all the way down to zero, and then just move over to the point where you want the transition to end and set this back to normal all the way up to 255. And as you can see, when you play that through, you have a very fancy flash to white effect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to download my free pack of light leaks and flares from cineguac.com. You can also find my special guacamole recipe, which can be used to impress your friends at a party.